However, it can become a hindrance and a distraction towards human interaction. It bothers me when people are on their phones when we're at dinner or something because you can't really talk to anyone or you can't interact. And when people are on their phones, you don't really get the whole human-to-human -human interaction. No, I told my students this. We were talking about not living your life and being, you know, everything electronic. And I said, this is how people live their lives. Like this. Mm -hmm. Instead of looking at the thing in front of you, like, okay, so I can see you instead. Like, this is what we'll do. And they look through this little, you know, rectangle. Even, and so all my daughters growing up, all the little things, the plays, everything she was in, I felt like I missed them even when I was there. Because I'm looking at, whether it's a video camera or a phone or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I think that literally it's a physical block between you and the rest of the world. That is, it's unfortunate. Technology, I love it. I have everything I could want. But it's, it's, it gets in the way, definitely. So how would you feel if you were sitting at dinner and everyone around you had their was on their phones? I think sometimes people neglect the people who are actually around them because they're so focused on their phone and it's hard to realize how disconnected you really are. A lot of people talk about how important socializing is in high school. Often I look around and I see, even at lunch, people on their iPads, people just looking at their phones, and I think to myself, well, I think my parents and my grandparents have social skills that are better than ours. I think we're really missing an important part of our youth. Technology has caused a clear generational gap between our society and the societies just decades ago. Socializing today occurs through a phone instead of the conventional face-to-face -face conversation. As a parent, I'm struggling with all of these kind of phone technology questions and I'm, I'm doing some things so I won't let Jack use his cell phone if we're out to dinner or at the table. Um, he's not allowed to bring his cell phone upstairs. I think there's parts, in, parts of your life where you should be out of reach of other people. There's some times that should just be yours, with you and your family. And maybe you don't have to always have other people accessible to you. You can let the phone go. I, I think the same thing with your house phone. So. Last month, I went to a John Mayer concert, and I stopped for a second and looked around and noticed how many people were on their phones instead of enjoying a performance on stage. And I couldn't understand the point of why you would spend hundreds of dollars on concert tickets to go and sit and do everything, do something that you've been doing all day. Like you can sit at home and scroll through Facebook and you can sit at home and text your friends. But meanwhile, you're missing what's going on around you and what's actually happening in your life. Natural Voice, I'm Sophia Gallo. And I'm Aubrey Whitley. And we are signing off. Until next time.